seven weeks, you guys. Seven weeks since I had been to Costco. And by the total, it shows. Hey guys, Kira here from 50 Shades of Mom, tips for all shades of mom life. And in today's video, I am back to share with you my weekly grocery haul and meal plan, which I share every Monday here on the channel. And today's video is a Costco. So it had been seven weeks, you guys. I think that's the longest since I've moved here to Texas that it's been between trips to Costco. So I had quite a list, plus we were almost out of meat completely. So I did stock up on a lot of meat, which is where a big bulk of the total came from, but there was definitely, like I said, quite the list that I needed from Costco. So I did spend $525, but it's the end of the month. Literally, today is the very last day of the month. So this is going to carry us well into September, well into September. And I think with one big Walmart trip, I should be able to cover us probably for a good three weeks. I shouldn't need to do any other kind of bulk shopping or anything else until way late in the month of September. So cross my fingers. Let's see how we do. But I think today we did pretty good. So I'm going to bring you down to my kitchen counters and I'm going to show you what I got this time for $5.25 at Costco. All right you guys so we got groceries over there we got groceries over there and we got groceries all the way down to there so that's definitely a not so quick overview of what I got at Costco this time and I have all of my non-food snack drinks and like bread stuff over here and then over here I have our produce our dairy and our meats so I actually think I'll start over here this way as I'm working my way down and stuff is finished I could actually maybe have Paul behind me starting to put some of the stuff away because it is a heat index of 110 degrees you guys and I have already had these groceries out for almost two hours so stuff needs to get inside but here is our produce section and I went ahead and got some strawberries I have something really fun that's coming up in a dessert and booze hacks for you guys so I needed extra strawberries for that and then they have had Campari tomatoes which I've never seen Campari tomatoes at Costco so I went ahead and picked those up they look super red and delicious a few of them don't look so ripe yet but it is so sunny here that it won't take long on a windowsill for that but the rest of them look yummy I did get some plums. So these say fresh plums make fresh plum pie, which I've never heard of before, but this was a pretty good price. And I just got nectarines and peaches from Trader Joe's. And now with all these extra berries, I think we're good on produce for a while. I got a six pack of romaine hearts. We needed that. I got one bunch of bananas. I got a thing of organic blackberries along with a thing of raspberries. I decided to get the English cucumbers. Everybody seemed to like the hot house cucumber that I got from Trader Joe's and this, these are pretty large and there was three of them in the package for a pretty decent price. So I went ahead and got these and then I did get a big thing of carrots. Jake really likes pickled carrots. Well, he really likes pickled anything, but if I get him the Oh Snap carrots, those are his favorite. So I recently just tried to pickle something for him for the first time using a jar of pickles with just the juice left over. And so I threw a whole bunch of cucumbers and green beans and carrots into the jar and then just added a little bit of extra vinegar, salt, and sugar and put it in the refrigerator. And they pickled so amazing. They're absolutely delicious and Jake is digging them so I definitely want to pickle a whole bunch of carrots for him plus I can freeze some for dinners but I know he's going to be excited to see this because he just thought they were so delicious and now I don't have to buy the old snap ones if he likes mine because mine will certainly be cheaper than buying those things for you know a dollar a bag so gonna try that again in bulk for Jake and then of course we got our Disney organic gala apples for Mason and then I also picked up the little tiny a wild wonder tomatoes for Maya. I always say they're just for Maya because she loves them so much, but uh, I'm kind of guilty of loving them as well. So I picked those up 
and then got some of the uh, mozzarella cheese we've only been getting this every other time but i did think i got this last time because it's been you know seven weeks so i do think that this might have been in my haul last time but we still have maybe one package in the freezer so we did right on target for this takes us two months to go through so picked up another thing of this and we'll just go ahead and shred it and divide it and freeze it and it freezes perfectly I did pick up the Annie's cinnamon rolls with icing. There's a three pa three separate packs in there and it makes 15 rolls. So there's five in each, but I'm actually not gonna use this for cinnamon rolls, huh? Well, I have a food hack coming up that you guys are gonna see maybe next week, I believe, or this week, I'm not sure. But I have a food hack that I've already filmed already. And one of the hacks was to take regular refrigerated biscuits and stick it in the waffle maker and make like these little mini waffles. And they were so good, but thick too thick to use as a sandwich on each side but not too thick for you to almost peel them in half and able to make a breakfast sandwich out of these biscuits that were turned into waffles and I started thinking like what if you did that with cinnamon rolls and then it would come out like a McGriddle from McDonald's if I were to eat a breakfast at McDonald's that's what I would get because I love the sweet syrupy and the cinnamon cinnamon how do you even say that cinnamon -y, you know what i'm saying flavor of the bread on the outside and then with the egg and cheese and the saltiness of the bacon i love the savory and sweet together so i think this is going to be really good i'm going to do exactly that cut them in half and then put them in my waffle iron and try and make cinnamon roll biscuits so that i can use that for sandwiches so going to go ahead and do that i got a two pack of their milk i've never gotten them milk before i almost couldn't find it because i didn't know it came in a two pack in a box but apparently the milk snob that i thought i was i'm not so we're gonna give the kirkland milk a try hopefully i will like that cheese you guys all right i'm kind of disappointed in myself but i am gonna pop up a little picture here i did save a little bit of money but not what i thought i was going to spend so when i went to sam's club i was blown away by their two pound blocks of cheeses that were almost eight dollars and i was like no way i pay 350 for the cheddar at sam's club like no way it's not a good uh at costco rather i was like that's not a good deal it's not a good deal well then there's this sign right here that says that now due to all the pandemic and all of that that the inflation of their blocks of cheese and shredded cheese has gone up so i still saved a little bit i saved like a dollar here and two dollars on the sharp cheddar cheese and a dollar on the colby jack and i think i saved two dollars on the mozzarella so not so bad i mean i still saved a five dollars overall five bucks is five bucks that's my gas back and forth and i was going to costco anyways but it would have been so much cheaper had they not jacked the prices up but that's just the benefit of knowing where to get what where where it's cheaper especially if you're going to go to both stores anyways so i held out i did save a little bit of money but i thought i was going to save way more so that's my rant about the cheese but we are stocked up for cheese so we'll make sure to shred that up and put that in the freezer got a four pack of bacon always grab the bacon from costco the kirkland bacon is a great price and is absolutely delicious the chicken party wings hold on let me flip them over because the price is on the other side so there was a five dollar off the sticker price sign and it ended tomorrow so i don't normally buy wings from here i like the four pound bag of drumettes that i get from walmart but i believe the four pound drumette bag is maybe like 14 dollars or something like that and this is seven pounds so that's almost double and this was 19.22 with five dollars off so 14.22 and i got almost double the amount of wings and football season is on the dawning you guys so having wings on hand works amazing and they cook perfectly in my air fryer so picked up wings tons of them do you see how many packs of wings like that's just amazing i'm super excited i uh, picked up a big bag of the tyson boneless skinless chicken breast these are the ones that are frozen in the freezer section they are a really good deal they are 18.49 so it comes out to be a dollar 84 while a dollar 85 a pound and if i were to get chicken from walmart which is where i usually 
get it. The cheapest I can find is $1.99 a pound. At Sam's, there was one that I got two times ago that was $16.90, so I made it $1.69 for the 10 pound bag, but the last time I went to Sam's, they did not have it. Now, the meat from Sam's was absolutely amazing, and I did get a heck of a lot of meat here, but I just went to Sam's and the only meat we had in the house was the meat I bought from Sam's and now that's almost gone and I won't be going back to Sam's for another couple of weeks. So I made sure to stock up here, but chicken's probably the only thing I'll need to get just because of the dogs um, later on. Otherwise, I think I'm really set up here. So I picked up that bag, I'll portion it out with my food saver and that'll last us a good long while. So I picked up some beef round, beef round eye round. Oh, that's kind of a tongue twister, right? Beef round eye round roast. Anyways, it was $19 for two of them in there and those are huge, which is perfect to feed my family and then have leftovers the next day. So usually whatever we don't eat, I'll thinly slice and we'll have roast beef sandwiches or something like that the next day or chopping up the leftovers is really, really good if you wanna make a beef pot pie or something that's good for this. I usually like to do a bottom round roast if I'm going to do pot roast, but worse comes to worse, you also can shove this in a crock pot and it'll fall apart just like pot roast and it'll be super delicious. The last pot roast we just got from Sam's was phenomenal. So I still have pot roast on the brain, but I got two roast beefs and then I got two of the fresh young chickens. They're the double pack and I usually try and find one that are 10 under 10 pounds usually more around the nine pound marker this was a smallest one that i found because this kasori oven is also a rotisserie so i like to make my own rotisserie chicken so i could pull it do chicken salad and things like that but if it's too heavy then the spindle won't turn so it really needs to be like four and a half pounds top. So I try and find one and usually there's one bigger than the other, which is what happened again this time. I don't know if you guys can see from your perspective, you probably can. This one's definitely bigger. So this is one I'll do in the oven and we'll have a chicken, you know, as a meal for a dinner. And then this is one that I'll do in the rotisserie as meal prep and just pull it to make chicken salads or, you know, quesadillas, that kind of thing for the week. So pick those up. Picked up two things of ground beef. They're almost identical in weight and price. So $18.75 on the top one and $18.78, which gives me about 11 pounds of ground beef. And we use about 2.5 pounds per week. I don't usually make more than one ground beef meal per week. So this will definitely suit us for the month. And then a steak, you guys. So I got this big pack of steak, $27, but that was probably the cheapest steak that I can find. And we just got a grill. And I don't know if about you guys, but there are certain things that just cook so much better on a grill. Like I've cooked some banging steak inside of a cast iron skillet. I'll cut it open and we'll do steak sandwiches and all of that kind of stuff, like shave it down and do open face sandwiches. But to do steak on a grill is just amazing. And we have a grill down at the park in our little development, but you have to buy charcoal. And so it was just kind of getting a little too much to always remember to have charcoal on hand. And then we had to walk down and use a public park. And right now with everything going on, we kind of just want to use our own thing. So we have a barbecue now and steak is going to be on the menu and there are five or six, I, there's five in here, but I think I'm going to fillet them in half because look how stinking thick they are. So I think I can still get a decent sized steak and fillet these in half and get two meals out of it because the adults will want, or at least the three big adults will want steak on the grill, but Jake's not really too much into steak. The little kids will eat it, but they'd rather a steak quesadilla. So I usually take their steak, cut it up and make something like that for them or a steak taco or something like that. Steak nachos, they usually like it like that as opposed to just on a plate or at least Jake does so I try my best to accommodate everybody so we'll probably have two separate meals where we can have a nice steak on the grill and then the kids can still eat along with us as well 
got a big bag of the fully cooked chicken sausages. These are really great for meal prep as well. I pre-cook them. They are pre-cooked and you can just cook them in the microwave, but I don't like them like that. I like them in a pan with like a little bit of butter and it gives a nice crisp to the outside. So I'll make a whole big pile of them and then just stick them in a little Tupperware in the refrigerator. And for breakfast and stuff, we can just pull some out and eat that. Sometimes two hard boiled eggs and two or three of these sausages is great for me in the morning. So picked up more of that. Holy cow, what a great deal on these. It was $4 off, so it was $7.99 for this three pack. And it was the best deal they had on cold cut since by Hillshire Farm. And usually I get the like one that comes in the plastic tub, but that one wasn't on sale and they only had turkey. And I usually like to get turkey and ham. We like both for both kinds of sandwiches, but I like to use the ham for meal prep when I make any kind of breakfast sandwich. So this is three one pound packages and it's one pound of oven roasted turkey breast, one package of honey ham, and then one package of smoked turkey breast. So that'll last us a while with breakfast sandwiches and for lunches. And then this Annie Bost, I love love these and I think it was like 12 or 13 bucks but it's for two of these they're stuck together and I think that's really really good because the brisciutte that's in here we use that to make recipes like a chicken marsala penny al vodka so it's good to have the brisciutte on hand for when we're making recipes and then there's still the uh, dry copa and then there's Italian dry salami and then there's the black pepper coated dry salami which is my favorite so you can make a good Italian sandwich or sometimes these are just good for snack boxes Maya likes this for an adult Lunchable, so this definitely does not go to waste, and we throw half of this in the freezer, and the other half we just keep out. I portion everything out in little snack bags, so it never goes to waste, but we absolutely love this. And then you guys, Rayburn's. They finally had Daryl's Philly cheesesteaks, so I was excited. I grabbed them. He still has quite a few of those Angus burgers. He's not taking lunch as often, being that he works in a restaurant. He will eat at work, but nobody wants you to eat any kind of food, especially outdoor kind of food like that, every single day. And so I want to be able to still have options to send him for lunch. So that's it for over here. Let's move on to the kitchen table. All right, so here's a little overview of the kitchen table. And so here's like my non-food items. Then we have snack stuff in the front and then our bread and drinks. So I'll start over here in the little non-food section. So I got a thing of the distilled white vinegar. I use that in my laundry and to clean my produce. So I picked up another thing of that. And then Clorox too. I got it at Sam's even though I didn't need it because it was on sale there. And then it was on an even better sale here. So I bought it again. So I don't need Clorox too anytime soon. But I mean, when it's on a deal like that, you just gotta, it just makes sense to scoop it up. So I went and picked up that. And then these caught my eye. So Vigos or Vigos. I'm pretty sure it's Vigos or Vigos. I don't even know. You guys see it, right? Well, these are a brand of jeans that I get in my Stitch Fix boxes. And one of my favorite pairs is this Vigos or whatever brand. And I love them. They are so soft. They're so comfortable. I'm a big girl, so I don't generally like to wear jeans. But these don't make me feel like I'm wearing jeans. And so when I saw their leggings, I wish they would have had them in adult sizes because I would have scooped them up. But they didn't. They only had them in kid sizes. And this is Texas, so my daughter's not going to need pants anytime soon. But for the price, and it had just a plain old black, which everybody needs black, this little sparkly, can you see the sparkles in there? Yeah. Yeah, you can sparkly pink and then look how cute the unicorn is and that matches so many things she had and Vanessa said why don't you just put that away for Christmas and I was like ha ha smart idea so I pick them up and I'm gonna put them away for Christmas and I'll get her like a shirt to match each one of these and that'll be a nice Christmas present and then I got these and I'm excited about it because mine that I had got ruined so a while ago a company had sent me like LED wax candles and they were rose gold and they were beautiful and I loved them but we packed them in the pod and then they never made it out of the box like one of the boxes and then when we went through the storage shed I found them and they were in the hot for so long that they melted and I was really really sad about them um, these aren't quite the same these you can see the little like flicker what will flicker you can see up top the other ones weren't like that it was like a full cylinder and you had to look down into it and like the flame was all the way down here at the bottom but what I like about them is that they have a little remote control 
and it has it where you can set it for four hours, eight hours, you know, six hours, 10 hours, 12 hours, that kind of thing. And it knows that if it's set for 12 hours, it's gonna go on for 12 hours and then it'll just go off for 12 hours. And they're all battery operated, but because of what it is, like they're, it's just a LED flickering light, the batteries last a long time. Like if you put it in here, it'll be a couple of months before you have to change the batteries again. But I love the ambiance at night of placing these all around your house and then they just come on. You don't have to do anything. Like once you set them, it's set and forget. You stick the remote in your drawer and you never have to you know, play with them again unless you wanna change the setting time. So I really like that because they'll just come on for when you set them and then they'll go off later on. And it's not something, like I said, you have to worry about blowing out or turning on and off, but it's so the ambiance at night of like walking through your house and just seeing all these little candles lit. Like I love that. I also picked up this and my husband was really excited to see this. So this is a combo charging set and we have so many issues at every outlet because we all have so many devices. We're using computers, we're charging phones, we're charging headphones, we're charging tablets. There's just always so much to charge and always so much to plug in that everything is always crazy everywhere. There's always extension cords everywhere. So when I build my own home, we're going to get the kind of outlets that have all of the USB ports and stuff like that in there. But for now, while we're renting, I thought this would be really neat. And these are surge protected. And like this one has six spots. This one has three spots for a plug. And this one has two spots for a plug. And then this one has four USB spots. This one has three. And this one has two. But see a little dot? So it's red when you plug it in and it's not charged and those will go green when your tablet or your device, whatever you're using is fully charged, which I thought was kind of neat. You can see across from of the room whether or not your device is ready to go. So for 20 bucks, I thought that was a really good deal. So I went ahead and picked that up. And then as far as the rest of the non-food, I got a thing of the Dawn Power Wash. I actually wasn't going to pick this up there because I love the apple scent and this is the fresh scent, but this deal is so good because it's a whole bottle and then you get two refills for the $9.99. And I believe that it's close to like almost four dollars for this so that's a really great deal and i was again a little taken back for a second because i was like i really like the apple scent but it's not like the scent stays on your dishes and you wouldn't want scented dishes anyways it's just the smell you smell while you're using it and so i was like you know what really is it really that big of a deal for the money that you would save it's not worth like the extra tingle to your nose so i decided to just get this one but i thought that was a good deal and then yay they had my kirkland flushable wipes back which i am super excited to have i know i'm going to get tons of comments every time i talk about flushable wipes or buy them someone always says that those are horrible for my pipes for my cesspool for something but right now we're renting and it is up to my landlord and i asked him hey can i use flushable wipes and he said yeah sure it's not a problem especially since they don't have a cesspool they have sewage and they said it's not an issue these are 100 percent biodegradable and i love them someone said to me if you use flushable wipes why do you buy toilet paper i don't really think one has anything to do with the other i like to wash my bum and then i like to dry my bum so that's why i like my flushable wipes and there's my explanation for that i'm sure you guys needed to know right right all right these I don't know. I don't know what possessed me to buy them. I've always seen them on the end caps. Vanessa buys them sometimes. And when I saw them, I was like, ah, this might be like a cool little treat. We don't have a whole lot of desserts in the house. And so I was like, maybe the kids will like this for a dessert or maybe a sweet breakfast or something on a Sunday. So I went ahead and picked these up and I was like, V, you really like these, right? And she said, oh yeah, we love them. And then some woman was coming around the corner and she was like, oh girl, buy those. They are amazing. And I was like, okay, fine. Just go ahead, twist my arm oh just a little bit all right they're in my car and they're non-gmo and they sound amazing and they're just pretty much soft croissants stuffed with chocolate so could you how do you go wrong i mean you can't then we went ahead and got our nature's fig bakery bars i thought these would be really really good for like our snack during snack time at school because there's two pieces in here so if each kid has a piece and a cheese stick i feel like that's a good snack for them or maybe they'll split one of these and have a fruit or something like that we've been trying to do a fruit and a cheese stick and a glass of milk or something not nothing too sugary during snack time um we kind of save all that stuff for when school is over so I pick these up and it has 12 raspberry, 12 blueberry, and 12 fig. And my kids just absolutely love them. 
I got a, um, what, how many packs of this? 12 pack of Annie's macaroni and cheese. These are our absolute favorite. We love them. We are completely out of mac and cheese. I got a couple of boxes from Trader Joe's to hold me over until I went to Costco. And Sam's doesn't have them, so this is like... I'll keep my membership for Costco just for our mac and cheese. And it has four of the real aged cheddar and shells, four white cheddar and shells, and then four of the classic mac, which is like um, Kraft macaroni and cheese. So got that. And then, all right, Vanessa and I were standing there and we're like, Kim, Kim, you keep doing it. Like Kim got me with the chocolatey cat cookie people cookies when I went to Trader Joe's and then now she got me with the Gear Deli triple chocolate brownies. There's six mixes in this box for that price. Like that's less than $2 a box. That's so much cheaper than if you were to buy this Gear Deli right in Walmart or something. This will last forever. She does Kim from the Wads is who I'm talking about if you do not know, but she does like a brownie Friday every Friday and she like jazzes them up or sometimes she'll just make regular brownies. I certainly wouldn't make them every week, but to add this to my meal prep rotation so my kids can have fresh brownies as a dessert or a snack, sign me up. I'm all about it. They had the carb balanced tortillas there. Here I thought I was getting like a bomb deal at Sam's Club, and this is just as good of a deal here, and it's the big pack, and I just bought them at Sam's, but we already went through them. We ate chicken roll-ups, which I happen to make in, um, is what I use. I use tortillas to make that, and I have a cooking video for that, so I'll link it if you guys want to see my chicken roll-ups, but those are absolutely amazing. I think the chicken roll-ups are even in my cookbook, too, if I'm not mistaken, but needless to say, we like the carb balance ones. I like the size of them for portions control but I just use these also to make breakfast burritos which worked out really really good um, so I'm gonna use these to make a little bit more and it's good these freeze well there's two separate packs in here so picked those up and then of course I got their croissants you guys we're out of breakfast sandwiches and like my family can't have that now all of a sudden Jake likes eggs Jake never liked eggs now he loves these croissants so he says he doesn't care if there's eggs and cheese on there he'll eat sausage egg and cheese ham egg and cheese bacon egg and cheese he doesn't care he just likes the fact that they are on these really delicious buttery croissants and like who can blame him they're absolutely delicious and you get a dozen for five dollars so picked those up so i can do some more breakfast meal prep i don't know what the deal was with the ketchup you guys like no heinz which blew my mind it's like i walked up and down and i was like no, no no we are stark out of ketchup i cannot go home without ketchup like where is it and this is all that they had but it's non-gmo so I'm going to give it a try. So it says no high fructose corn syrup, 100% natural tomato ketchup, thicker and richer non-GMO. So I don't know. We're going to see, but I couldn't go home without ketchup. So that's why I got it. Uh, they had a deal on the mayo. So I went ahead and picked that up. I don't think I'll need it because I got one from Sam's Club. Costco is the better deal, but I needed it when I went to Sam's. But once I make dressings between blue cheese and ranch, almost half that container is gone. And then we don't, if I, God forbid, I want to go ahead and make a chicken salad, I'll have nothing. So I went ahead and got an extra mayo on backup. I got some of the King's Hawaiian rolls, so I wasn't actually even going to get these, but if you guys saw yesterday's grocery haul, I needed slider buns to make sliders, and Walmart did not have them, and they ended up subbing me sub rolls, and that's the second time I went for slider buns, and they did not have it. So when I saw the slider buns at Costco, I was like, you know what? The ones that you get at Walmart are only a 12 pack, and these are two 16 packs, which is kind of better for my family of six because we only use one at a time and again bread freezes really well so went ahead and got that and then I also got a two pack of the English muffins we throw one of these in the freezer and then one in the fridge and that's also a quick breakfast for my kids you can see no loaves of bread you guys because I am such a snot and a snob when it comes to getting my high priced bread at the Dollar Tree for a dollar so we are almost down to no bread so let's just say that you guys will have another Dollar Tree coming haul coming soon because I need to go there so got a thing of my Kirkland's mixed nuts. The nuts from Sam's were good, but they're different. Like they have different nuts and I just like the macadamia nuts in here. I like the big Brazil nuts. So 
pick this up. We won't need nuts for a while. So if I go to Sam's in a couple of weeks, I, I won't pick up their nuts from there because we still have some. And then now I went ahead and bought this, but I like these especially for my snack boxes. Like last night I didn't eat dinner. I ate three handfuls of nuts. So just saying, like I, I love my nuts and I rely on them. Uh, that's, that's like nothing dirty. I, I mean, I like like mixed nuts. Um, got a, what, how many pound? 10 pound bag of Imperial sugar. It's just pure white cane sugar. Paul uses this to make his tea and it's just not conducive for me to buy it in Walmart because it's just not a good price for how much he uses for, especially we're making that big, huge glass jar dispensary thing that we got like a month or so back now when we make that it's like three batches of what he used to make so he goes through sugar often and I was like listen I'm not going to keep getting it from Walmart it's not a good price so you're going to have to make something else so he's been making all the Kool-Aid and lemonade and stuff that we've had back up in the pantry because we weren't even using those they've been sitting there and so I said until I go and get a bigger thing of sugar you're going to have to go through the stuff that's in the pantry so that's what he's been working through so that I can go ahead and get a big bag of sugar so I got that and then back there is a 40 pack of the Kirkland water bottles so glad that I go to Sam's because they did not have those big giant jugs of water that I buy they only had these so I just picked these up sometimes we'll put these in the little beer cooler outside the little beverage cooler where we keep our soda and drinks you guys can see I bought no drinks no Gatorades no sodas no nothing they just didn't have a good deal on anything we would drink so I didn't want to buy just to buy so I kind of skipped on it but at least we'll have some waters to put in the beverage cooler and then the kids have been stark out of juice boxes because it's been so long so I got the honest kids organic juice boxes there's 40 in there 16 fruit punch 8 Appley Ever After, eight Berry Good Lemonade, and then eight Goodness Grapeness. So the kids love those, and it was $10, I think, which I think is a really good deal for organic juice boxes. I got a thing of the Organic Extra Virgin Olive Oil. This is such a good price for this, and it lasts a good long while, so I got that. Vanessa had ranch mix on her list and I was like, nah, I'm not going to get that because I like my Hidden Valley. But holy cow, the price for this versus the little tiny container of Hidden Valley that I buy. And I love McCormick. So how bad could it really be? So I'm going to go ahead and give it a try. Plus, it says that it's clean and simple ingredients. And that's probably better quality than, than Hidden Valley, I would say. I, I haven't stack the ingredients up against themselves but i'm pretty sure this is probably a better deal so i picked that up and i think that's it you guys i'm kind of out of breath but i'm gonna go put all this stuff away so for me it'll be a little while but for you guys it'll be just a second before we roll into the meal plan and if you're an OG, you know I always forget to share with you guys the ice cream because from South Carolina to Texas, I always seem to live in extremely hot states. So as soon as I come home, I throw my ice cream into the freezer so it's not a big liquid mess just melting on the counter while I'm sharing my haul with you. And then I forget to take it out and share it with you. So this was a $9.99 and there's a 40 pieces in here, 12 ice cream sandwiches, 16 cones, and 12 cookies dipped bars and my kids absolutely love their ice cream so now let's get into the meal plan okay you guys so here is the meal plan for Monday August the 30th through Sunday September the 5th and you guys are probably really tired of me saying at the start of every month holy cow another month has gone by I'm excited this time you guys I am welcoming September and the fall so Today for Monday, we are doing copycat longhorn Parmesan crusted chicken. So I think I'm gonna put together a copycat video for you guys, just sharing a bunch of different copycat meals. So for tonight, we're doing the copycat longhorn Parmesan chicken with some coconut rice and that recipe for that rice is in my cookbook along with some broccoli. And then for tomorrow, I realized that throughout the week I had something scheduled to use my sauce for and I have no sauce frozen that's done. 
So I'm gonna make a big pot of sauce tomorrow and then I'm just gonna go ahead and make some meatballs. I have that big loaf of everything bread that I just got this past weekend at Walmart. So I'll probably just do like a big Parmesan hero. Everybody loves that. And I usually don't even make side dishes with that. Like everyone's just fine with just the hero for dinner. And then on Wednesday, I asked my husband what he would like this week. And he told me he wanted a giant salad bar like he just wanted a large salad with a whole bunch of goodies and so i'm gonna grill some chicken and then we're gonna do some bacon i'm gonna make homemade croutons i actually have bread i bought a whole loaf of that brown oat wheat bread from cheesecake factory and it is amazing like the best bread i ever had i thought the brown bread from the outback steakhouse was good but this has like toasted oats on the outside so delicious so i bought a whole loaf it was two dollars that's it and i stuck it in the freezer and i'm gonna make croutons out of it oh my goodness i'm so excited um i wrote cold cuts so just sandwich meat like the ham the turkey cut up and then i have all different types of cheeses i have crumbled blue cheese i have feta cheese i have the cheese the block cheese we've already shredded and it's in the refrigerator so we have all of those and we have tons of fresh produce and then a bunch of fruit like sometimes i like berries in my salad or something like that and so might as well do a big salad bar while we have all this fresh produce on hand so i'm actually excited about that because i really enjoy a good salad on thursday we're going to do chicken parm and we'll do leftover salad which is perfect because if i do a big salad bar and cut up all that produce there will for sure be leftovers which is perfect because chicken parm is perfect alongside of salad now i have a cooking video for the chicken parm that i can link for you i have a cooking video for my pot of sauce that i can link for you and i believe both of these recipes are in my cookbook as well so if you guys have that then you already have those on hand and if you don't have it go ahead and buy it because it is always linked in the description box and it's right on Amazon. Uh, on Friday, I'm going to do a mega breakfast prep. So I wrote mega because I feel like lunches are fairly easy. As long as I have snacks on hand and produce on hand, it's easy for me to just whip up the main course and then everything else I just throw on the sectional tray beside us. But breakfast is difficult. Even being home, mornings are crazy trying to get everybody into the school room dressed and ready by nine we're trying to get into a good habit so when we do return to school we're not late and we're not struggling trying to get everybody ready and out of the house at the same time and so i like to have a lot of stuff prepped for breakfast so i just made a banana muffins and i also made blueberry muffins and i filmed all that to share with you guys this mega breakfast prep and I've already done confetti pancakes and then those biscuit waffles that I shared with you guys and then I'm going to do a whole giant large batch of that Mrs. Jones chicken sausage. I'm also going to make chocolate brownie pancakes. I'm going to make just plain old regular waffles. I'm going to do the cinnamon roll waffles and then I'm also going to use whatever stuff that I have on hand whether it's the cinnamon rolls, the croissants and make breakfast sandwiches and breakfast burritos. I'm just gonna load the freezer up where that covers everybody in the house for breakfast for the entire month. I mean, Daryl is taking breakfast actively every day. Paul is up every morning with all of us just bustling around the house. So everybody's eating some kind of breakfast and I can't believe how fast all this prep goes. Like, I think it's only been a week and a half since I made those pancakes and waffles that I filmed for you guys for prep and they're almost already gone, which is why I'm able to do pancakes and waffles again. So just breakfast never goes to waste in this house so it makes it easy to film all of it and put it all together i get to share it with you guys and i get a freezer full of breakfast prep so that's what we're going to do on friday saturday i'm going to make one of those roast beefs with twice baked potatoes have you guys ever had twice baked potatoes that is like a tradition in my family that's my brother's favorite meal so any year for his birthday he would ask for a roast beef with twice baked potatoes and you guys keep asking me to share my mashed potatoes well i make my mashed potatoes and then you fill them inside of the baked potato shell so i think i'm going to film that for you guys this way it's kind of killing two birds with one stone i can share with you how i make my potatoes as well as you can see how a twice baked potato is done because 
rice baked potatoes are amazing. And then I'll just go ahead and make some cream corn beside that. Oh my goodness, that dinner already sounds amazing. And then here is a new recipe that I'll be sure to link down below for you guys as well. I got it off of Pinterest. If you guys aren't following me on Pinterest, my link for that is always down below as well. And I have tons of boards that will help give you guys some kind of inspiration. And I recently just found this one and it sounds amazing. So it's French onion beef casserole. So it's kind of like a stroganoff, but a different take on it. So it sounded really good, just different. I always make my stroganoff. I have a video for that too. So I'll link that for you guys if you're looking for a good stroganoff recipe. It's only six ingredients and it's absolutely delicious. But this looks like that, just a different take, which is nice because I always make the stroganoff, you know, once every couple of months or so or six weeks or so. So this will be a nice change. And then I'm gonna do that with carrots. And then I wrote biscuits gets here because uh, a friend of mine, Vanessa White Randomness, that's the name of her channel, Vanessa White Randomness. I'll link her down below, but she just did a video where she shared her tea biscuits and she shared them before and they look good, but they remind me of shortcake biscuits, but there's no sugar in them. It's more of a savory biscuit. So I think I'm going to make the batch and I'm going to double it and I'm going to do half regular biscuits so that we have some really good tea biscuits. I'll freeze the ones that I don't use so that we have have biscuits on hand for any kind of meal that requires biscuits and then I think I'm going to do a sweet version so we have them for dessert again I can freeze them but those sweetened biscuits are really good with strawberries or some kind of berries over some whipped cream and there's a food hack coming up where I'm making coconut whipped cream so I think that'll be really good with the coconut whipped cream and then a sweet biscuit and some strawberries that sounds really yummy so a whole fun filled week of food I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you guys are new here every monday i share a grocery haul and meal plan and at least once a month i share a costco haul so if you guys like those kinds of videos and make sure you hit that subscribe button and tap the bell so you are notified when i upload i love you guys all so much thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one bye guys